Hey guys, back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some leaked stuff from Moonlight Festival along with the new treasure tracks, so let's get into the video. Alright, so first off, we'll go ahead and check out the treasure track. So, this is a new one. It's called Frozen Fairy Tale, which we already got one named that last year. This one shouldn't have the same stuff in it. I believe it has Sarasaur and all of that in it. Yep, so here's Sarasaur. We also got a new pet. And um, I believe it's just called the Sheep. It was updated to the HD. So here are rewards, so for just completing the, or I guess just the default, you get 60 Magicoin, um, the Morph Marble Robo Pup, and some Fireworks, which I'll collect those. We got some more Magicoin, and a new pet, which is called Hootbeak, for uh, members at level 2. And then at level 3, you get the Cloud Sheep, if you are an plus member and then you'll get i believe this is a new uh pet relic i think and it has a power bonus of 113 you also get a browl if you're a non-member and then you can get a stormlet you can get a new pet relic or i guess this is a pet hat called the mistletoe cap then you can get a new pet which is called the storm chirps i believe this is a new pet relic the festive holly and then you can get the television uh, house item, I guess. And then, I guess this is probably interesting, the Snow Globe hat, which is a heart bonus of 122. I think that makes it one of the better ones in the game. We also have Sarasaur right here, which I do believe that you're now able to get the buddy version of Sarasaur. Um, you can also get the buddy version of Saranox and NT Talk now. I don't think you were before. We can check that out in a second, because I should have uh, Saranox now. I haven't had it for a while. And then we also have the Winter Slay um, mount, which has a heart bonus of 50 and a power bonus of 100. It could have some other stats, but you were not able to see those. So let's go ahead and see if you can now actually wear Saranox. Also, they changed the uh, font right here, which doesn't look great, but... You should unlock Saranox. I don't think I did, sadly. If you do, or if you have unlocked Saranox and Intitok, go check, because you should have them. And if you do have Sarasaur, or you do get Sarasaur, you should get Sarasaur as a buddy. So, also, the Wizard Bank came out. I don't have an account with it, so we're not going to look at that. But now let's go ahead and look at some leaks. Alright, so first off, this is called the Spine Boss Poppet. This is what the boss for Moonlight Festival is going to look like. So, I believe this pretty much confirms, I think it's safe to say, that this is going to be um, some relative of Pivot, just based on the name. This one's Poppet. Just replace the I, or I with an O and you get Poppet, so yeah, I think this will be a relative of him. We'll get some more probably about that. Um, here is what it looks like in full. This is, I believe, the idle animation for it, yeah. So this is just what he looks like when he's standing around. We also have the appear animation right here, which looks pretty cool. There's some confetti, and I believe we can probably slow this down so that you guys can see it better. So there's some confetti, some fire coming out of it, and it looks pretty good. Then we also have the attack animation, which is him clapping some confetti and some like purple flames coming out as well. We have the defeat animation, which is kind of just a reverse of the uh, appear animation, I think. We have the idle animation, which we already saw, and then the impact. So this is what I think it's going to look like when he takes damage. His eyes look kind of weird for a second. Um... Yeah, like right here, his eyes kind of look a little weird. But yeah, that is the new uh, boss poppet. And then we're also getting some sort of chest. This is called Spine Chest Moon. So here's what it's going to look like fully put together. This is the appear animation for it. So it's kind of just it coming into view. Then we have the hide animation, which is it open. And then it's kind of like disappearing. We have the idle animation, which is just, it's standing there. I assume we're going to get some gold, maybe some other currency. I don't know if we're going to get a new currency, if they're just going to reuse star shards. Maybe we'll get moon shards or something like that. And then we'll have the idle animation opened, and then the open animation, which is just it opening. And then we also got a new armor set that's coming. I believe 
this set is, or the hat for this set is already in the game. I have no idea what it's called. It's sort of like a monkey hairband. Um, but these are the boots for it. This is what it's going to look like when you're wearing that. Nothing too special here. Then we have the outfit, which sort of looks like a jester outfit. And this is outfit 283. We also have this wand. This is why I think this is going to be related to like the monkey hairband or hair clip or whatever it's called. Um, because we have this monkey that is sitting on this wand and it looks very similar to the hat that we already have in the game. Then here is the icon for it. This is what it's going to look like when you're wearing it. This is the icon for it. And then we have a new relic, which I think this relic is going to be part of that set. Then we also do have a few other spell relics that are going to be in the game. So this is number 48. I want to say these are for Dragon Isle, um, because they did, or there are two different elements that are getting relics. Normally when you have one and two, these are both of the ice relics. I think that this kind of would make it seem like this is going to be for the ice dragon so this is what one of the relics would look like and then this is what the other one would look like this one kind of has a crystal caverns theme to it i think and then we also have this one for storm which this one looks pretty cool i think that we've had this sort of as a mythical epic quest item this like orb right here and then we also have this one which looks pretty cool and then we also got some pick gear so this is a hat sort of just like a jester hat we also have this one. I don't really know what this is. This is a hat, headgear hat. So I don't know really what it is. It kind of looks like a tutu, but it's got some eyes right here and a moon. Then we have this one, which I think is related to this one. This is kind of like, I don't even know what it's called. It's sort of like a scarf in a way. And then we have this one, which looks like it would be related to this one, sort of, kind of like with the coloring, sort of, I don't know, sort of pastel maybe is the right word, I'm not really sure. And then we also got some backgrounds from Moonlight Fest. This one is surprising because we already have the background for the Moon Island or Moon Area. I don't know how that's going to relate into the story now that we have this. Maybe the Moon um, Island is going to come up halfway through the festival, sort of like how we have the purple uh, ice worm like halfway through Winterfest. Maybe we'll have like the moon open up halfway through uh, Moonlight Festival or something like that. But in here, one of the things that I think is interesting, if we scroll over here, we have this which says Poppet. And it seems like Poppet is controlling these wizards which maybe that kind of tells us what this festival is going to be about, but I don't think that he's going to be controlling our wizards. So maybe we're going to be battling two wizards along, or there are going to be two wizards alongside Poppet in the battles. Um, that's kind of what I think. And then not really anything else interesting or important inside of here. Um, I guess we will see Moonlight Festival, the center of Lamp Light Town, look like this with the moon. And then here is what the foreground for the battle is going to look like. So there's just a moon, some lanterns, and then moons and clouds over here. So yeah, nothing else was added today. I believe that's everything. Nothing was added into the data or metadata that was important. So yeah, that is going to go ahead and end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.